so guys i'm really 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 not happy right now and i'm telling you the truth i woke up this morning and i wanted to place a trade on my 100k accounts and the account is gone let me show you what they are telling me here on the screen so look what they are telling me guys this is the forex funder this is the forex funder look at what they are telling me they are telling me breached i didn't do anything at all so this trade was a very fast one i was even doing something it tapped me in today is tuesday by the way it's a new week so i'm in this gold trade now and as you can see i'm gonna go trade i'm gonna go trade i'm gonna go trade so i just set my limit and i was i was back testing i was back testing when it tapped me in i was back testing here it tapped me in but yeah i'm in the trade right now i'm in the trade now and let's see how it goes i see good potentials with this setup i see good potentials with the setup and of course i've taken a trade here too the trade has been taken here on my 5k account and also i set a limit order i set a limit order for um sorry i set a limit order for a uh, usd card but it didn't come so i'm about to close it now i just close it now i also did sell a limit order for in um, my 100k accounts too so i've closed it down and yeah let's just see how the trade is going to be So guys, oh, that was a very fast one, very, very, very fast one. <laughs> Quick loss, under, under like, under, under 10 minutes. I love trades to be like that actually because it just shortens the time, the screen time, you understand? But regardless, losses are still painful. But I lost every, all the risks was calculated, so nevertheless. But it's raining now, it's raining, let me show you all outside. So it's raining now. It's been raining like for three weeks now. It's been constantly raining, actively raining. Let's put it like that, not like every day. But yeah, let's see how tomorrow goes, guys. Let me go back to my back testing. I just do my thing. Let's see how tomorrow goes. I hope tomorrow is a good day. We still have a lot of days to make back any loss we're going to incur this week. But one thing I'm going to tell you is this: this week is going to be profitable. Profitable. I prophesy. <laughs> let's go. What's good guys and how is y'all doing today? So it's you and ups again on this one. You know the vibe. So guess what guys? I'm in this gold trade right now. I'm in this gold trade right now in all my accounts. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is a trade here on the 100k account. It's um it's tweaking a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's see how it goes. I don't want the clip to be too long. Let's create for that. Let's play, let's play, let's play. It's a good trade. It's gonna be a good trade. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it, man. So guys, TP1 has been hit as you can see right now. TP1 has been hit. Let me update my free telegram. Let me update my free T. Uh... So it's what it is. If you can join this, bro, what the fuck am I doing? You can join this free telegram. The link is going to be down below. The link is going to be down below if you want to jo um, join this free T.
So guys, it's about um, 5 o'clock right now. It's way past 5 o'clock and that trade is not just moving. It's stuck around when it's the one is consolidating. I understand though I entered that trade late, but nevertheless, I'm still in the trade. I'm not going to close. There's FOMC. There's FOMC by 7 o'clock. I'm looking good, man. Go. Don't play. <laughs> There's FOMC by 7 o'clock. But I'm not closing. The only thing I'll do is to adjust my stop loss. So in case it slips me out, it will not slip me more than um, something I can afford to pay the next time I'm trading. You understand? So I'm going to catch you guys then. Let's see how it goes. So guys, I doubt if you're going to believe what just happened. Guess what? Guess what? Let me show you the screen. So my house is dark right now and it's like almost 6 o'clock. I think um, 5 o'clock, 5.30 something. But guess what, guys? Guess what? Let me show you what do you say man what do you say i'm out of drill and that trade was a banger trade i closed about 490 dollars on that trade look at it look at it let's go let's go so for those of you who, who is just joining this challenge now because i see a lot of i see my videos getting more attraction getting more views so i'm guessing new people are in the family right now let me tell you something I got funded two months ago on this 100k account and immediately I went in drawdown. I was risking, I was risking $250 per trade and I went for about 3% drawdown. 3% like imagine 3% that's to say I lost I went down I went down a lot let's just put it like that. But with that same risk I've been able to come out from that drawdown and now and I'm in profit of about $250. I'm not going to withdraw. I'm not withdrawing till I'm up 1%, 1%, 1k then I place a withdrawal on this account. And let's see if I'm going to get a payout. 1K. It's what it is, guys. It's crazy. It's absolutely not. But yeah, just goes to show like following your plan is just the thing about this game. <clears throat> just being disciplined. Trust me, it was tiring. You understand? I got an account. I got them um, 100. I got funded. Like, you understand? Everybody wants to be funded 100K. Then the next thing I did, deep in drawdown. But being strong is just what has kept it. But now I'm up in profit. And this does not mean I cannot go back in drawdown. It doesn't mean that, but it just shows that I'm strong. I'm doing the right thing. That's just what it shows. So guess what? Like and subscribe to this video, please. Please do like and subscribe if you're new to this family. Join the family. It's a very big thing we're doing here. We are breaking. But there's something that nobody has done. Trust me. We're documenting a journey from the start. I started documenting my journey when I was not even profitable. Nothing close to that. But guess where I'm at? Well, guess where I am right now? And I'm, I'm making sense. You get what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, subscribe and yeah tomorrow um for the rest of the week this is nfp week for the rest of the week i'm not really sure i'm going to trade because you understand how nfp week can be yesterday's trade was very annoying it hit my stop loss and kind of went in my direction again but i'm going to catch you guys if i take any setup I'll catch you guys let's do it guys let's go good guys and how is y'all doing today so it's a new day and a great day at that so i want to make this announcement here I'm starting a one-on-one -on -one session starting a one-on-one -on -one session because so many people have been asking me to teach and this is the way I'm going to do it for the meantime let's start with let's do a one-on-one -on -one session now in this one-on-one -on -one session you're going to book a call with me for one hour or one good hour and within this one hour we're going to talk about all the issues you're having with trading especially when it's if we're talking about the psychology part of trading and also the risk management part of trading I'm going to teach you how to create a trading plan I'm going to teach you how to create a trading plan in a way that you'll be able to follow it and step up your discipline because everybody has a trading plan but trust me your trading plan like tra there's how you organize your trading plan at the beginning of your trading to make to help yourself become a disciplined trader because if you're not disciplined you cannot trade a trading plan so if you're interested in this sort of thing it's going to cost you 20 dollars only 20 dollars what you need to do is to text the first link click the first link and text me on telegram and with this, we're going to fix a time for us to do the call and we'll talk about all the problems you're having in trading. If you're in for this, you know what to do. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Let's go to the chat now and look for a trade to see if we're going to catch or not. Let's do it. What is good, guys? So I'm in this gold trade right now. I'm in this gold trade right now. And guys, something happened to my 100k account. So I'm in a gold trade right now, as you can see here. So I think he wants to... Okay. But I'm in this trade right now. Something happened to my 100k account. Look what he told me here. Breached. Crazy. But now, now, I came this morning, tried to log into my 100k account. And this is what it was basically showing me. This is what it was basically showing me. So I emailed them. I um, texted them on Instagram. And they told me that they are doing some migration that will take some time. Sorry for the discomfort and things like that. 
And what I asked was that, why are we migrating to? And why did nobody tell anybody? Why did people not let us know prior to this that they were going to do migration? You understand? So it's just crazy what these platforms they do. But either way, I'm watching. If they don't, sure, let's just see. Let's just see. I'm definitely going to be updating you people. So according to what they tell me, they tell, it will take like a week that they are coming back to MT4 and MT5 for non-US clients and for US clients, DX traders. I don't know. You do something like this, you tell people, you tell people that this is what you want to do. You tell people, at least you tell us proud to that. But they did not. But regardless, what's my business? Me, I'm just here to trade. But I'm watching too. Let's see how it goes. I'm in profit in that account, and this is when they are coming with their their careless play. But I'm in the gold trade now. Let's see how it goes. I'm definitely gonna update you. I'm definitely gonna update you. The trade is looking good, but mind you, it almost stopped me out here. It's refreshing again. That's why this platform, this very empty, this uh, my phone reflex, he they tire me. To be frank. It's very tiring because the platform always tweaks. But the trade is up. It's about one hour in profit right now. So I'm about to post it on my free telegram now. So as you can see, that trade is going straight to take profit. As you can see, that trade is going straight to take profit. So this would have been a very good trade on my um, on the hundred k account. This could have been a very good one. So let me see. Let me see how many peeps I'm up already. I'm just trying to see so I could know if it's time to break even. Okay, it's not your time to break even, but it's going to be time to break even very soon. So around 45 peeps, I break even. So rain is falling outside, by the way. I don't know if it's going to disturb the audio, but rain is falling outside. Let's go, guys. I'm a little bit angry. I'm a little bit angry because this perfume, they behave anyhow. At this point at this point anyways i'll let y'all know what what i'm gonna do next it's very annoying it's so 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 annoying it's very annoying it's tiring you put all your time and effort in these things and look what they're doing this is a 500 dollar trade this trade you're looking at now and it's a good setup i was going to go and set the order on the on the account and i did not just see it okay it's time to break even now i think this one is this one is live just one minute i left this platform and i'm back Look what he's doing. In just one minute, I left this platform. Coming back, look what he's doing. I'll update you guys. Trade is bullish. So guys, so just look at what I'm look at what I'm going through. Look at what I'm going through. Look at this platform. I am refreshing it, and it is not working. Look at, I'm refreshing it. It is not working. Look what he's doing. It is not working, and I have not broken even on this trade. It um, automatically logged out from my phone. You understand? It logged out from my phone. That's how you do once in a while. It just logged out. I think they updated this platform. Now I am trying to log in. I'm trying to refresh it and like to adjust my stock. I have not even set my take profit or shit. I'm trying to refresh it. It is not working. The my phone FX platform is just another case on its own, special. All this plan, I just tire a big. I just tire. I'll update you guys. I'll update you guys a bit. So this trade just hit take profit now. It just smashed my TP now. But still, this platform is not loading. Look at. Still, it's not loading. It can't tell me it's network because every other thing is working perfectly fine. I just tired guy. I'm tired. Okay, it is open now. See now it has retraced to twenty dollars.
this platform bro this platform sinan is 18. Omo. when i mean i am tired of this platform believe me when i say i'm tired of them it's just tweaking just tweaking see it's off again what's the reason if it is my funded effects it's going to be good but if it is um, the forex funder it's going to be good but my funded effects on match trader is just something else i don't know man i'll update you guys So guys tell me what is more annoying tell me what's not more annoying taking a trade and it goes to your stop loss or taking a trade and it goes to your take profit and the platform do not allow you to close what's more annoying you see what we're going through in trading trading you might think that okay i need an edge it's my technical analysis that is a problem see you see these platforms they are also you are if you guys are thinking we are playing a losing game with them, these brokers, all this platform and everything. Just imagine this trade was going to be a win. It was going to be a 1 is to 2.3 win. I was going to close at 1 is to 2. All I needed was $25. This trade went for 1 is to 3. I closed it in all in my other accounts. I closed in any other account I'm trading that, that I don't document here. I've closed it there. But on this platform, it just did not allow me to close. Very annoying thing. You understand i would have said is the i would have said is the is a match trader platform but me and you have been watching this video so you if you have been watching this video since you understand that if i trade on my the forex funder they are their platform do not tweak like my funded effects does not if it was the forex funder i will close that trade it will not give me any issue but every time it's my funded effects just look the trade was a break-even trade anyways it's very annoying absolutely everything today is just very annoying I'll come back tomorrow and update y'all. Peace out. Peace, peace, peace. Yo, what is going on, guys? So today is Friday, by the way, and um, I didn't take any trade on my profit account, on my 5K account. But I took a trade on Darwin X that put me up. The trade hit my take profit. You understand? Look at the trade here. It hit my take profit. It was a clean one. After the NFP move, I looked for a demand down below. And I'm going to that trade and it was just a magnificent trade. And after that, I was like, why did I not take this trade on my profit on my 5k account? But it's what it is. The trade is gone. You understand? But I took it in every in all of others of my account, any account I'm trading that I am not documenting. And also look at the chart, look at my Darwin X dashboard. You understand? For those of you who are asking, Darwin X is giving a 20% off. If you use the link in the description. Look at my dashboard. I'm up about almost three percent, almost two percent now. Plus commission because they take commission when you trade. Plus commission, it is more than three percent. Absolutely not. Like, I took five trade this week on Darwin X. You understand why? Because I'm trading every week. I want to just pass the fifteen day something. But, bro, this week was crazy, man. <laughs> crazy. Like with the Darwin X, everything is just is going up. But see, trading is not always like this. Let me tell you. Some there's. There's going to be that week that is going to come with a lot of losses. I hope you understand that. But regardless, now, when I think of him, for the, for the, for what happened yesterday, you understand? I went and thought about it again. I found out that it was not really the platform fault. You understand? It was not really the platform fault. Because if you ask me, why did I not set take profit? You understand? I was supposed to set take profit in a case like this. So thinking about it, it was a break-even trade. It was going to be a win. That trade would have put me up if i took that trade yesterday i would have taken the trade of today because i would have feel like even if i lost the one of today i would have still keep a good amount of profit for the week about two hours you understand but um it's what it is guys <laughs> so this week was great this week was great and also for the forex funder i don't know when they are going to come back they, their last their last uh, migration, I had to text and text and text them before they came back and um, give me my accounts back. But this this time, I hope it's going to be a better scenario. But I don't know why they behave like this. You understand? But this is the PNL. I cannot give the PNL for the other account because the account is nowhere. I don't know if you're migrating. Why did the account show? Why did it show breach? And why can I not even get even 
get to my account okay let it be that i'm in the account and i cannot trade it it's a different case but this one is showing breach straight up breach i do not have the account again like they deleted the account that's what it means bro I'm really tired and i'm up in profit in that account it's just the thing is just very 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 tiring it's just tiring but i don't want to think about it too much but this is the pnl for the week i was able to keep one hour and this is down next down next is just giving the best result right now but it's not going to be like this forever i just know that the trader should know a trader should know that's not going to now somebody asked me in my comment and asked me why am i up in down next and not more in profit than other accounts bro i trade every day you understand the person was trying to say i should be trading every day though you understand since i'm up sometimes you put comment something and it just goes to show the level of your trading if you're trying to show you know something the best thing sometimes is to keep quiet because when you come and say some things it just get very funny just show your level of trading <laughs> you understand you can't be trading every day i'm doing it because i have to pass a particular threshold but this is the pnl and guys i'm going to catch you guys tomorrow this week was great like i said it was going to be i'm a prophet now you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm a prophet now but regardless we'll come again next week and we'll do our thing i'm going to get that 100k account back I'm going to get that 100k account back. I strongly believe. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.